So now number six. Number six we have the question an isosceles triangle has perimeter 30 centimeter and each of the equal side is 12 centimeter. Find the area of the triangle. Here also perimeter is given and two equal sides is given. We can start that let A is equal to B is equal to 12 centimeter. Okay, these two sides are equal. When equal sides are 12 centimeter. So then we can find that C. The perimeter is 30. Then sum of the two sides means 12 plus 12. So 30 minus 24 is 6 centimeter. Okay. So third side is 6. So therefore as we find that 30 by 2 is equal to 15. So therefore area. So area equal to. So S, S is 15. Then 15 minus 12 is 3. 15 minus 12 is 3. Then 15 minus 6 is 9. Okay. So 15, 9, 3 square. So 15, 3 square. And nine, we can write that 3 square. Means 3 into 3. Root 1, 15. So it is 9 root 1, 15 centimeter square. Okay. So this is the area. This is a easy one. So the area of the triangle is 9 root 1, 15 centimeter square. So this exercise is finished. Exercise 12.16 part is finished. Now see the headline in page number 203. Here given the application of Hiram's formula in finding areas of quadrilaterals. Actually, you will check if we check the removed syllabus of math. This uh, exercise actually in new syllabus is not given. Okay, this uh, is removed. But still, one math I will teach you that how to find the area of a quadrilateral. Just one math. Okay, one math I will teach you. Okay, that how to find that area of quadrilateral means what is the applications of the Huron's formula. You have learned how to find the area of a triangle using Huron's formula. Now the applications means how will find that area of not only quadrilateral, suppose it's a square, but then rhombus, okay, then trapezium using Huron's formula. So just one math. Okay, one math. How to find that area of a quadrilateral. So for that, uh, next exercise question number one. You are given that a part in the shape of a quadrilateral ABCD. Okay, a quadrilateral ABCD. And angle C 90, AB equal to 9, BC equal to 12, CD equal to 5, and AD equal to 8. How much area does it occupy? So, uh, exercise actually that 12.2, uh, only one math. Means, I will teach you how to find the area of a quadrilateral. So, here, see, angle C is given, suppose BC. This is B and C. Okay, this is 90 degree. This 90 is given. Now, suppose it is A. And it is A, B, C, D. Now, A, B, A, B given uh, 9 meter. A B given 9 meter, then B C is 12 meter, then C D 5 meter, then A D 8 meter, and A D 8 meter. Now you see here, then how will find the area of this quadrilateral? Okay, area of quadrilateral. Particular area of quadrilateral you not got. Okay, so yes, one formula is there, but here we cannot apply that formula because the length of the diagonals are not given. So then how will find the area of this quadrilateral? Here this angle C is 90. This angle is 90. Okay? But to find it, we have to make two triangles. So what diagonal have to draw? We have drawn the diagonal BD. Okay, we can join AC, but here we have to uh, we have to join BD. Okay, with the diagonal BD, some relation is there so that we can find it. Now you see. By the diagonal BD, this ABCD have divided two triangles. This one triangle and this is another triangle. Now this is clearly is a right triangle. BCD is a right triangle. We can find the area of right triangle half basic to height. Directly we will get it. But this is not the right triangle. Okay, then how will we find the area of this triangle? So, uh, just in short term, we join. Okay, we join BD. So directly that therefore area of triangle BCD it is half BH formula. 
So half base is 12 and height is 5. So it is 6 means 30 meter square. But ADD is not a right triangle. Then how will find the area? We cannot use that half pH in the triangle half BD. But this is the right triangle. We can find the side BD. Okay. Then in triangle BCD using Pythagoras theorem that BD square is equal to that BC square plus CD square. Now it is 12 square, CD is 5 square, 144 plus 25. So it is 169. So that BD equal to 13 meter. Okay. We got that BD equal to 13 meter. So now you see in the triangle ABD all the sides we have. So since all sides we have, so we will find the area of the triangle using Hiram's formula. For that it is given that applications of Hiram's formula to find the area in quadrilaterals. So already if we got the area of this triangle BCD, we will find the area of this triangle. Therefore area of ABCD is equal to area of this triangle plus area of this triangle. So it is the general information if it is quadrilateral is given. So we will draw at least one diagonal. Then we will get two triangles. We will find the area of the two triangle and sum of the area of two triangle is equal to that area of the quadrilateral. Is that clear? So okay. So we have the area of the triangle PCD. Now we have three sides of this triangle. Now we will find the area of this triangle ABB using Hiram's formula. So we got BD equal to 30. So then S means now we will find the area of the triangle ABD as equal to that 9 plus 13 plus 8. Okay, divide by 2. So it is uh, 30. Okay, 30 by 2 is equal to 15 meters. So that what area? Area of which triangle? AB. AB. So that S is 15. Then 15 minus 9 is 6. 15 minus 13 is 2. And 15 minus 8 is 7. Okay. So now you see how much can simplify. So 15 we can add 3 into 5. And 6 we can add 3 into 2. Into 2 into 7. So we can write here you see. 3 square into 2 square. 5 and 7. No other term 7 divided. So it is that. Uh, 3 into 2 root over 35. Okay. That is 6 root over 35 meters. 6 root over 35 meters. So it is the area of the triangle ABD. Now sometimes we need to find that square root of 35 or broadly because it is the two parties there. So it will take time to find that root of 35. So we can keep the answer in root term also. So at last, so therefore area of ABCD. Area of ABCD, so area of the triangle BCD is 30 plus area of this triangle is 6 root by 35. It is meter square. Okay, so this is the area of this quadrilateral ABCD. Yes, if you can find the square root of 35, you can put, we will get the answer area of this quadrilateral ABCD. So one way I have solved you that how to find the area of quadrilateral or what is the applications of Gron's formula to find the area of quadrilateral. You can practice also some map yourself. Okay. But this exercise is removed from the syllabus. Okay. So this chapter is finished. You will practice the uh, example also. Further we will solve some more problems. So today this much. Thank you.